Well, can it be true that we're already talking about some snowfall across uh, the higher latitudes of the continental U.S.? I think so. That would be northwestern Montana. If you're joining us from there this morning, I'm meteorologist Mary Matthews. We're going to talk about a chilly day on tap. Even if you're not going to get the snow uh, in the valley locations, you're going to have that brisk north wind and uh, temperature highs only topping out in the 50s. So fall is beckoning and uh, we'll call it old man winter at that because some snow showers are going to show up in some of the higher elevations around Glacier National Park. Uh, predominantly 6,000 feet and higher uh, places like Essex as well. We're looking at satellite and radar here together and uh, you can see where we've got some light rain moving into northern Idaho and also some pink showing up and that would be possibly some wintry precipitation, uh, some a little bit of snowfall mixed in with a little bit of rain and then transitioning over to some light snow showers as we travel through the morning hours. The heaviest expected to fall between 3 a.m. and 9 a.m. mountain time and again elevation 6,000 feet and above. Now the winter weather advisory uh, for these areas Areas. West Glacier, primarily Glacier National Park, south into Essex, is in effect until 9 p.m. this evening, even though we're really going to see a majority of that moisture uh, for this morning and maybe tapering off by early this afternoon. Overall snow forecast total. Just looking at some light showers, possibly one to upwards of three inches in the higher elevations there. So we're not talking about blizzard conditions here, just some light snow showers uh, again around the Glacier National Park area. Let's look at this system because as I said before, you're certainly going to feel uh, the cold air advection on the backside of the system, the wind associated with this storm system for places like Flathead Valley today. There's a look at that snow uh, showing up and even extending into the noon hour for today. And then uh, of course, as that pushes east of the Rockies, uh, we'll see most of that kind of tapering off, if you will. Uh, of, our, of course, on the warmer side of this area of low pressure, expected to see some showers and thunderstorms out towards Bismarck, North Dakota today, and then over towards the Twin Cities, uh, expecting some more robust activity in terms of severe weather. So high pressure filters into the forecast pretty quickly as we travel into Thursday. That means plenty of sunshine for Montana, Northwest Montana, and uh, ending the week on a pretty nice note. We're talking about the wind forecast here really quickly because you can see 25 mile per hour gust uh, expected for this afternoon for Great Falls, places like Missoula, uh, Cowspell, you'll see gusts as high as 20 miles per hour. So again, a little bit of a chilly day that's going to affect how it feels outside, even though your air surface temperatures are going to be primarily in the upper 50s. It's probably going to feel more like low 50s out there today. So Everything calms down for Thursday and for Friday as that storm system moves well off to the east. And that is not the only place we're seeing uh, the fall foliage show up as well. We've seen that around northwestern Montana along with the snow showers this morning. But this photo in from Katie Robertson, Anchorage, Alaska. This was over the weekend and you can certainly see fall is moving in.